Upasaka masculine or upasika feminine are from the Sanskrit and Pali words for attendant. This is the title of followers of Buddhism or historically of Gautama Buddha who are not monks, nuns, or novice monastics in a Buddhist order and who undertake certain vows. In modern times they have a connotation of dedicated piety that is best suggested by terms such as lay devotee or devout lay follower. Topic. Precepts The five vows to be held by Upasakas are referred to as the five precepts. Pali, Pankasila. I will not take the life of a sentient being. I will not take what has not been given to me. I will refrain from sexual misconduct. I will refrain from false speech. I will refrain from becoming intoxicated. In the Theravada tradition, on Upasatha days, devout lay practitioners may request the eight precepts from monastics Pali, Upasatham Samadhyati. Topic. Initiation ceremonies Topic. Theravada traditions In traditional Theravada communities, a non-Buddhist becomes a Buddhist lay disciple by repeating the ancient formulas for the three refuges and the five precepts in response to the formal administrations of a monk or by himself in himself or in front of a stupa or an image of the Buddha. Newborns of Buddhist parents are traditionally initiated by being brought on their first outing to a temple on a full moon or festival day where they are presented to the triple gem. Topic. Mahayana, Vajrayana traditions In both the Chinese Chan and Japanese Zen traditions, a ceremony of taking refuge in the Triple Gem as well as the receiving of the precepts is a type of lay ordination. The ordination procedures for receiving precepts in the Chinese tradition are laid out in the 14th chapter of the Sutra on Upasaka precepts. Upo Sai Jia Jing Shou Jia Pin Di Shi Si The disciple hoping to receive the precepts first pays respects to the six directions, which represent their parents, teacher, husband or wife, friends, religious master and employees traditionally servants. Honoring the six directions is a means fulfilling one's reciprocal responsibilities in each of these relationships." A person who has honored these relationships and paid his respects to the six directions must then receive permission from his parents to accept the precepts. If they agree, he informs his spouse and those under his employment. The disciple should then get permission from his king, though for obvious reasons this last procedure is no longer widely observed. The disciple, having paid his respects to the six directions and having the relevant permissions, may now ask a monastic to help him receive the precepts. In modern times, these ceremonies are normally held on a regular basis at temples and presided over by the temple master or his deputy, and one would not ask a random monk or nun to perform the ceremony. The monastic and disciple then engage in a dialogue, with the monastic asking questions and the disciple answering. The monastic asks the disciple if he has paid respects to the six directions and if he has the relevant permissions. The monk will ask a series of questions that ensure the practitioner has not committed grave offenses and is both physically and mentally fit to receive the precepts. The monastic explains the benefits of the precepts as well as the negative consequences of breaking them, and asks if the disciple is prepared to accept them and remain dedicated to the triple gem. Next, the monastic asks the disciple if to follow additional habits to prevent breaking the precepts, to discourage others from breaking them, and to avoid excessive attachment to the five skandhas. If the practitioner is prepared, the monk asks the disciple to practice all the advice for six months while remaining under the monk's regular observation. If, after six months, the disciple has upheld the precepts well, he may ask the monastic for formal taking of the precepts. The disciple will then take refuge in the triple gem, and the monastic will then ensure the disciple is prepared to take on all as opposed to only some of the precepts. If the disciple commits to accepting all the precepts, and recites them with the monk, then he has finished his lay ordination. The chapter closes with a description of consequences of breaking the precepts and the obligations that one must take on after receiving the precepts. Topic. Ceremonial dress. Traditionally, in India, Upasakas wore white robes, representing a level of renunciation between lay people and monastics. 
For this reason, some traditional texts make reference to white robed lay people. Avidata this practice can still be found in contemporary Theravadan temples, especially during the occasion when a non Buddhist converts to Buddhism or when one is observing the eight precepts on an Upasatha day. In the Chinese tradition, both Upasakas and Upasikas are permitted to wear robes for temple ceremonies and retreats, as well as home practice. Upasakas and Upasikas wear long sleeved black robes called hiking, hai ching, symbolic of their refuge in the Triple Jewel. A brown kasaya called a manyi, manyi worn outside the black robes is symbolic of their upholding of the precepts. Unlike monastics, they are not permitted to regularly wear robes outside functions other than temple activities or Buddhist disciplines. Some Japanese laity can also be seen wearing a rakusu, a short cloth worn around the neck of Zen Buddhist laity. Another form is the wageza, a short surplice in the form of a strip of brocade fabric worn around the neck, with the temple mon emblazoned on it. It also acts as a simplified type of kasaya. Topic: <laughs> Famous lay followers. In the Vajrayana tradition, a well-known upasaka is Upasaka Dharmatala, who serves as the attendant of the sixteen arhats. He is seen to be an emanation of Avalokiteshvara. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> From the Buddhist scriptures. In the Pali Canon's Jivaka Sutta, the Buddha is asked, Lord, to what extent is one a lay follower? The Buddha replies that one takes refuge in the Triple Gem. Asked how one is a virtuous lay follower, the Buddha replies that one undertakes the five precepts. Asked how one practices being a lay follower both for his own benefit and the benefit of others, the Buddha states that one is consummate oneself in and encourages others in the consummation of, conviction sada, virtue sila, generosity kaga, visiting monks, and, hearing, remembering, analyzing, understanding and practicing the Dhamma. Topic see also Householder Buddhism Nagpa – Non-monastic Tibetan Buddhism Practitioners Srivaka – Buddhist Disciple includes both monastic and lay followers Anagarika a title which describes a midway status between a monk and a layperson Topic Notes Topic Bibliography Block, Robert, 2002. The Path of the Householder – Buddhist Lay Discipline in the Pali Canon, Buddhist Studies Review 19 1, 1-18 Encyclopedia Britannica 2007. Upasaka, retrieved 24 October 2007 from Encyclopedia Britannica Online at https colon slash slash web dot archive dot org slash web slash two oh oh six oh six two one one six three seven oh six slash http colon slash slash w dot Britannica dot com slash eb slash article dash nine oh seven four three eight three Harvey Peter nineteen ninety an Introduction to Buddhism, Teachings, History and Practices. Cambridge, Cambridge University. ISBN 0-521-31333-3. Karyawasam, A.G.S. Buddhist Ceremonies and Rituals of Sri Lanka The Wheel Publication No. 402-404. Kandy, Sri Lanka, Buddhist Publication Society. Retrieved the 22nd of October 2007 from Access to Insight 1996 transcription at http colon slash slash www.accesstoinsight.org slash lib slash authors slash karyawasam slash wheel 402.html. Mendes, NKG 2001. The Questions of King Melinda, An Abridgment of the Milindapanha. Kandy, Buddhist Publication Society. ISBN 955-24-0067-8 Natier, Jan A Few Good Men, The Bodhisattva Path According to the Inquiry of Ugra Honolulu, University of Hawaii Press. ISBN 0-8248-2607-8. Rhys Davids, T. W. and William Stade, eds. 1921-5. The Pali Text Society's Pali English Dictionary. Chipstead, Pali Text Society. A general online search engine for the PED is available at http colon slash slash dsal.uchicago.edu slash dictionaries slash poly slash. Retrieved on 26 December 2006. Topic external links Theravada resources for Upasakas Sri Lanka Buddha Jandi Tipitaka Series SLTP Undated. Gahapadivago in Pali and 8.
Available online at http colon slash slash meta dot lk slash tipataka slash two sutta dash pataka slash four angatara dash nikaya slash angatara five slash eight dash athakanapata slash o three dash gahapadivago dash p dot html. Retrieved on the twenty eighth of april two thousand seven. Thanissaro Bhikkhu, trans nineteen ninety seven. Jivaka Sutta, to Jivaka on being a lay follower and eight point two six. Available online at http colon slash slash www.accesstoinsight.org slash tipataka slash and slash and 08 slash and 08 dot Retrieved on the 28th of April 2007.